happy birthday to Nathan. Well, here he is, the top scorer in the league, the main feature of our match today, and it's live. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Thank Our action you, today you. comes from the Championship in England. Preston North End against Barnsley. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Guided through. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Here's the Preston team for you. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in... In the clear in front of goal! That's saved in very straightforward fashion by the goalkeeper. We've got news of a goal from the Sheffield Wednesday match. Our reporter there is Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Wigan Athletic. Eight minutes played, 1-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Visiting team here might just slip through. Oh, he's been called offside here. Schmidt. Missed the target by some distance in the end. Surely he must score! And it's a touch over the bar. It's a corner for Barnsley. Let's check in with Alan McAnally at Huddersfield with some goal news. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Very good attack, broken up in the end by good defensive play. Good position for the cross. And behind off the frame of the goal. Good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Probing pass. In on the goalkeeper. And he scored! It's all about the weight of the pass here. He hardly had to break stride and he finished it emphatically. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but these players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. News coming in about a goal at Craven Cottage, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Fulham, 24 minutes played, 2-0. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Men in there to try to convert this cross. Maguire. And the referee says, that's a free kick. Ben Pearson. Maguire. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. The post, not the back of the net. Oh, what a moment that was! <laughs> a wonderful effort hitting the woodwork, just uh, inches away. Brown, Maguire. It's a good ball. They could be in. 
This could be a chance from the cutback. Brilliant. That's a decent header, but not quite good enough. Well, they've got to get tighter to him because he's a really good header of the ball. He showed it there. We have some goal news for you from Nottingham Forest and our reporter is Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Brentford, 37 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. In goes the corner, disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Schmidt. The visitors having lots of the ball, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. The referee's referee had a good look and decided it's a good pass in behind the defenders. What about Barnsley's next game? Well, they're playing Swansea City in the next match in the Championship. And uh, judging by the way that they've been playing, they're really evenly matched. Well, that's half-time at 1-0. Well, the stats are very even after this first half, which has been very even itself in every respect. Start now of the second half. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Nice interplay between the two of them. Room for the cross. Golden opportunity now. Wonderful goal. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal, goal from him. Barnsley. So, away we go at one all. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's covering the Nottingham Forest game for us today. And I believe it has a goal to bring us up to speed with. Alan? It's a second goal for Nottingham Forest. 49 minutes played. 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Well, he's got some room out here in the wide position. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Looking to attack it in the middle. And they've scored! And they've gone into the lead! And undoubtedly deserved. They have been by far the superior side, and they really imposed their will on the opposition. Too good, really, for the defending. And the shot in the end far too good for the goalkeeper. Trying to steer it through. He's reached it and turned it aside. At Craven Cottage is our man today, Alan McAnally. He's got a goal to tell us about. Goes for it with a fist. Good work to stop the opposition. He's got to clear it now. Well, we had to break away from Alan McAnally there. Apologies for that. We can confirm that Fulham did score in their game. And they are winning now 3-1. Well, here's a tr gonna try one now. And they blocked it then. And that's dealt with the problem. Brown. Well, this could be a chance from the ball played over the top. Chance to put it in the box from here. No, the opportunity didn't really uh, manifest itself, and it's a goal kick. We have some goal news for you from Alan McAnally from the Swansea City game. It's a second goal for Stoke City, 68 minutes played, 2-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. 
Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Anderson. Must be a goal! That's well, well wide. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he hasn't got a goal for himself, but played more than his part with the assists for teammates out there. Has it been a penalty involving Millwall? It's a penalty for Millwall. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Oh, a great penalty. Goalkeeper didn't move high to the goalkeeper's left. Guided through. Has to be! Off the keeper. Well, they thought they were done for, but now they've equalised. Well, I think the opposition switched off, but... Wow, the goal scorer didn't, did he? Right on his toes. Extraordinary game here. Two very well-matched teams, and they're trading goal for goal in the game. Now he wants to take them on. Room for the cross. Goal news for you from Derby County. Alan McAnally is our man at Derby today. It's a third goal for Derby County. It's been scored by Wayne Rooney. That's his second today. The keeper did well to narrow the angle, but he found the back of the net with a fantastically aimed shot. Six minutes remain. 3 1. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Proper defending there. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Yeah. Pearson. It's a wasted opportunity, but it's a brilliant interception at a vital time. The fourth official has indicated two more minutes to play, that of added time. Of added Just time. one minute left on the clock. That's going to go right to the wire here as they look for a winner. Past his man. Players arriving in the middle. Only partially away from danger. Well, there is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. Very enjoyable, it's finished level. Is that about right, Alan? Surely he must score! This is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. It's Reading against Preston North End. I love visiting this ground. I've really been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Adam. And the referee lets them go on. Advantage played by him. It's a free kick and that's all it is. The referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Is he going to be an in-swinger or an out-swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. Defender did well. Uh, it's a gentle header, really, and uh, no threat to the goalkeeper. No, and he could have saved that with his eyes closed. It just doesn't happen overnight, this kind of pressing, and it's working well for them, showing how much they put into their training sessions. 
Still one of the great names of the English game, Leeds United, but still threads it through. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Brown. Now, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, I think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence brimming, really, because... Well, that's what they've been looking for, the ball in behind. Out in front of goal. Defender's done well here to clear the danger. We've got a quick moment here to tell you about a goal in the Wigan game. Alan McAnally is there. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. It's been scored by Sam... Probing with the pass. And the goalkeeper very much on his game today. He's put in the corner. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Confirmation, it was a Nottingham Forest goal in that game. And the match is level at 1-1. And off he goes with some options. And it's a shot now! Straightforward work for the goalkeeper. Well, more news on the injury from Jeff Shreves. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. So... But he's tough, and I think he'll carry on. Jeff, thank you very much. Maguire. Gomez. Neatly intercepted. Over at the Riverside Stadium, Alan McAnally is there for us today, incidentally, and he's got a goal to give us the details of. It's a goal for Middles. Borough. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Well, here it is! Straight forward stop. Shaw. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Opportunity to take the lead. Well, he's knocked it in, and they've got the lead now. It hasn't come easily, but they're delighted with it. It's a well-crafted move and a fine finish at the end of it. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but I've been a bit disappointed with them so far. As we've uh, shown, they've had lots of the ball, but they just haven't been inventive enough. With it, they've moved it on too slowly, made it too easy for the opposition to get back in shape. That's a good challenge. Routine for the keeper. Gomez. Adam. Richards. Referee has chosen, guiding it through. Put the ball into the middle, dangerous. It's not really a way, poor clearance. And that was it. Well, that's half-time at 1-0. Referee blows, and we're off for the second half. Gareth McCleary. Adam. Let's check in with Alan McAnally. A goal in the Wigan game, I believe, Alan. It's the second goal for Nottingham Forest. 48 minutes, please. 2-1. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Well, they've gone and won the ball in the middle of the field with some high-pressure play. 
Referee's done uh, extremely well to judge it like that. He can play the advantage. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Well, he's a long way out here, Martin. I can't believe he's going to actually try and shoot. Hasn't been able to beat the wall. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. That's cleared out of play. It'll be a corner. They've decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Just take a note of this EA Sports coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. It's Reading. They'll be facing Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it. And I am as well. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Promising forward play from them again. Shot on! Well, this could bring them level. Over to Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about at the Riverside. It's a second goal for West Bromwich Albion. 67 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Safety first there. A little surprise, the visitors with less possession here. They've done so well. They've got some quick players in this team and they broke out of defence with such pace. The manager will be delighted. The game plan is working perfectly. Johnson. Maguire. Must score! Oh, it's hit the post, it's still alive. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Now he wants to take them on. Oh, he could be in. He can't miss. He put it away for the equaliser. Is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Let's check in with Alan McAnally. A goal in the Wigan game, I believe, Alan. It's a third goal for Nottingham Forest. 77 minutes played. 3 1. Cheers, Alan. Very good attack. Broken up in the end by good defensive play. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Chance for a break in numbers. Substitution for Reading. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. Johnson. Johnson. That's another turnover here. 84 minutes gone, six minutes to go. Swift. He's won it back easily. Maguire. Well, they've got him behind here. A real opening for him. The target. Players in the centre. Oh, that's great defending. Added minutes. Frustrating for these fans at times. They sense the game isn't yet up. Still chance for a winner. Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Miazga. That's it. Level pegging between the two teams. And it's finished all square.
Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Preston North End up against Leeds United. Yeah, thanks Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, Thank especially you. at the summit. Yeah, plenty of teams in the hunt hoping to lift the trophy at the end of the season. I think most fans, Derek, particularly the neutrals like me and you, love a close race. Nobody likes to see a team run away with it. Pearson. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Must score! And he's fired it against the post. Now just couldn't keep himself onside. So for Preston North End, it was even Steven in the last game. A draw against... And he's made headway! There it is! And just the ideal start! So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Wonderful challenge. And a throw-in coming up. Phillips. Alioski. Harrison. And a throw-in it's going to be. Pearson. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Augusta has it. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Reading match. Alan. It's a goal for Reading. It's been scored by Gareth McCleary. The move looked to have broken down, but he had other ideas as he picked up the loose ball and swiveled to dispatch a shot high past the despairing keeper. 30 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And now it's Phillips. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. Pearson. Gomez. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he put it away? Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. So, 2-0 now. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And news of a goal in the match being played at the Stoke City Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a goal. He's got the right idea with that pass. And that is offside. Well, the pass just needs to be made a little bit quicker and he's onside, but he just gets caught out. Well, for understandable reasons, we had to cut off Alan McAnally. For clarification, Stoke have scored in that match. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Wonderfully weighted pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. Pablo Hernandez! We certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, speculative. Worth an effort. Two goals down, why not?
Not giving him a moment's peace. Gomez. Beautifully disguised ball. Wonderful block. And a throw in forthcoming. Maguire with it. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Elder Costa. Hernandez. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Terrific block there. Corner kick played over. Fight. Please. What can he do from here? So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Alioski. And they'll have to throw it back in play. He's found a pocket of space. Preferring to go infield. Wonderful chance! And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, 2-1 it is here. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. And that was a very fine read. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the Championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Preston North End taking on Blackburn Rovers. Yeah, that looks a great match-up, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Being pressed hard. Oh, they've lost it. Possession certainly isn't a problem for Leeds, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back back. He's got to score! Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, he was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Brown. Maguire. Johnson running towards goal and now can they keep calm surely a big miss they should be two in front well that could be the game right there what an opportunity to go two up well this really ought to be a championship game to savour it's live on EA TV it's Leeds United facing Sheffield Wednesday yeah I'm predicting a cracker there both teams will have a real go at each other I'm sure Real danger. Surely! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Chance to attack using width. With the registration, well, the cross that time completely overcooked. Please contact your nearest security guard. Thank you. Daniel Johnson.
Hernandez. They've regained possession. Well, no doubt many of you have been hearing the transfer rumours. It does look as though the deal could be only. Well, Derek, there's nothing like a transfer rumour to liven a dressing room up. Puts a spring in the step of the play. Can't miss, surely. And putting his body on the line. Corner kick played in. Well, you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. It is to be a throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. For sure. Good visualisation and execution. Can he put it away? Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Alioski. And only two minutes remaining here. Regained possession. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Getting forward. And options in the centre. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And there goes the final whistle.